So we're in Hakuba Valley at Hapaone ski area. Um, and at the top, we're on the looker's left side and uh, a big bowl called South Bowl. So basically a quick rundown of the face. There's cliffs, more technical section on the looker's right side with it seems to be the way the wind has affected it, a little bit more variable snow. And then on the looker's left side, there are some rolly terrain features that look like really fun for me and snowboarding style, you know. And then in the middle, sort of down halfway, is a big horseshoe sort of arena and with cliffs on all sides. This face is a little bit different than the classical big mountain lines. It's more playful, uh, so you have maybe a little bit smaller uh, cliffs to jump from and more wind lips that you can use as kind of big jumps and come in from the side and do tricks. So definitely more a freestyle orientated face. Yeah, so face check, obviously a huge part of the sport for us. We don't get to go down the face, it's all about knowing how to read a mountain from a distance through binoculars, through cameras, through drone footage, and all these tools we have to figure out a line that inspires us. Because it, it looks a lot different once you get to the top yeah. of it, right? So it's, it's taking that two-dimensional view from the front or from the picture and, and rotating it in your head to what you're going to be seeing while you're headed down at full speed and sending it. So it's just experience in the mountains and knowing how to read stuff. So sending down the forerunners means that you get a bit of a bit of a grasp on how the snow is and you get to see how big some of the features are compared to somebody in the face. Today that forerunner's me, so hopefully we're gonna do a good job for them. See you down there. So next forerunner, Abby Graham. So feeling pretty nice down here actually. Really enjoying that. Pretty thick, I have to say. Really nice snow actually, I was really surprised. I guess the way that the wind has hit the face, uh, the looker's left side is probably in better condition uh, than, the, than the, the right side. Pre-pumped, dude. Okay, so feedback. The snow was uh, pretty good when I skied down. I would feel really uh, yeah, confident uh, opening it up and skiing fast. When you were looking at the slope today, were you like, Right, that's definitely where I'm gonna go. It depends. Like here in Hakuba, I, like I didn't really have a line that just like appeared to me, and I was like, I want to do this. So I think I'm gonna do a lot of, yeah, a lot of scoping, watching photos, and maybe watching your run again. How was it, by the way? That was great. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for letting me do that. I, that was champagne powder in the middle. I think there is potential for really like the takeoffs are gonna be as good as you know they get in backcountry riding. It's just about the landings. I definitely think the snow is a bit more variable um, than we're used to. A lot of the times we get beautiful powder and this is going to be a little bit trickier but I'm almost kind of excited for it because it's going to really test um, technique um, and I think that it's good for all of us to be able to ski variable snow. That's a perfect uh, place for tricks and it's super playful, you're going to have fun and it's not about big jumps but it's going to be nice to have some tread and to cruise on the face, it's going to be cool. Are we going to see one of those signature Drew Tabaki backflips? Well, you're going to have to tune in, Patty, but I can say that I will be going upside down and it won't be an accident. Okay, awesome. I hope you land it. That's the first time I've experienced a face check at the Freeride World Tour. Pretty cool. Got to speak to a lot of athletes after and everyone's got big plans. So, yeah, should be good. Tune in on Red Bull TV to find out what happens.